Oh, oh you're you so lucky. <laughs> oh, that wing's good. That wing's good. We're good. So we are going to go ahead and do the first test flight now. Head tracking in the world of RC is nothing new, but we've not seen a lot of people combine it with FPV drones. And when Josh Medellin asked if he could send out one of his generic head trackers to play with, we had to say yes. Walk me through your setup here. This is the Timber Turbo Evolution from Horizon Hobby. Overall, it's stock except for I have Crossfire and then I have a VTX set up on here for the digital FPV. So what this setup then allows us is not only to have a video transmitter, but also a pan and tilt so we can look left, right, and up and down as well, which should be a lot of fun on a fixed wing. Works out pretty well. I have not used a head tracker before, so I'm pretty excited. Cool, let's see what this thing looks like. You're gonna make me spend money as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually pretty responsive. There's not too much of a delay either. Dude, this is, I'm pretty impressed with how much articulation you get. That's pretty cool, man. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> Sweet. Let's get in the air. So for all intents and purposes, this is the first time we've ever done uh, head tracked FPV on anything. But the whole point of this was to kind of demonstrate like this is more like the traditional use for head tracking. like. It'd be really cool to combine this with like long range wings or planes or stuff like that. Taxi, go, get out of here. So head tracking is not a new thing, right? We've been using head tracking for a long time on especially wings like this. So he's got his turbo timber evolution that we have the head tracking set up. So he can actually like pan around, look down, look at the prop, see where he's taxiing to. And that's pretty fun, right? It's not necessarily the most useful thing in the world uh, for FPV because the drone spins around and looks around really quick and really easily. However, when you combine it with a drone and a, just a pan tilt servo for the actual drone, we'll be able to look around later and have some extra power in different things that we can do with filming. So Winston's gonna get this plane in the air and we'll kind of give you a little bit of a opportunity to check out what it looks like to fly big uh, swing with the pan tilt. What's up? Oh my goodness. I think it's pretty funny that you're keeping your head pretty much stationary though. <laughs> so like once you get a little altitude, you, can you look down over the wings? I don't trust it. Look at the trees. That's so cool. This is beautiful though. So what I'm noticing so far is I'm not used to it. And it's definitely, it's taken me a second. Trust it for the trees quite yet? He says going into the trees. Well, like down in the trees. <laughs> It's so good. All right, let's try to control this. Oh gosh. Oh wait, I can look left. Oh God, this is weird. Okay, yep, nope. <laughs> I didn't trust myself just diving into the, oh geez. Oh, that's a cool That's angle. cool. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> that's so weird. Ah! <laughs> So this gives me like that vertigo all over again where you look down and it's like, whoa, I'm controlling this from looking, oh geez, looking straight down. That is so wild. All right, let's check out the church over here to the right. Oh, this is vertigo all over again. Wait, what's, oh geez. Yeah, there's the right wing. Oh, that's a cool view. Okay, I can see my attitude this way, like my angle of attack. Mind that tree down there. Oh, that was weird. Oh, that was weird. Oh, oh you got so lucky. <laughs> oh, that wing's good. That wing's good. We're good. <laughs> Did he run out of battery? Prop's so good. Yeah, yeah that's a 2200. Oh, that's right. I mean, that was still a good, like, five minute flight time, but. All right, so. Very happy I landed it. I only have like 10 batteries through this plane and we all know how I do with planes. Uh, the head tracking thing was cool. That was nice to be able to check the, uh, <laughs> the wings to make sure they weren't damaged. <laughs> so that'll take a while to get used to, but I definitely like the idea of like, look at the church or look at the building as you fly past and added a whole new level to like FPV on that. That was cool. That's a different experience. That's like a whole nother experience with flying that thing FPV. That was cool. All right, let's go get this thing. So now that you've seen what traditional head tracking can look like, let's take it to the drone side and see how it can enable us to get unique shots. So the product that we're playing with is the Medellin Drones Head Tracker. He's used some open source hardware and software to kind of create like a plug and play head tracking device that can attach to whatever you want to track. So in, in the case before when we were flying it on the plane, we could use it with the DJI digital FPV system, which to me is a dream. 
and I have it now attached to the Fat Sharks, just again with some double-sided tape. Now, I, I know a lot of people are going to comment that Fat Shark has a head tracking device that's pre-built, and that's absolutely true. But what I'm really excited about this is that it can apply to literally anything. Now, this drone that I've set up with the Metal in Tracker is running analog, and that's for two different reasons. One, I couldn't get a long enough cable fast enough for the, to make this video that would run between the drone and the actual camera in the air unit. So that's one problem that I had to solve. And then the second is I actually wanted to set it up with two FPV cameras. So there's one FPV camera down here, and there's one up here that are both connected to the same flight controller, which is the Hobbywing H7 flight controller. So I can actually do camera switching and switch between, I could potentially like leave this camera really low and so it's like kind of like a bird's eye view sort of thing, locked without having to fly out of it, or I could leave it, leave it super high and then fly with, a, with an angle. So it just kind of gives me some redundancy, some different options. There's a really big, powerful servo here that they warn in the instructions when you're setting it up, is enough torque to break a finger. Whether or not that's true, I don't know, but it, it definitely seems pretty chunky. It's got a wire and then it goes to this GoPro mount that actually physically tilts up and down. I can go down to about, uh, that's negative 50 degrees and then up to about positive 40. So almost 180 degrees of motion, and I think that's gonna be a lot of power. So I've not actually flown this. All I have done is uh, hover tested this drone. Uh, so I have no idea what it's gonna be like to fly with the head tracker doing stuff like this. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick to my stomach. So I'm really excited to get it out. Both Winston and I are gonna try to fly it, see if we can actually get it in the air and like not like, you know, fall out of our seats because we're doing this kind of stuff. And then we'll use it to try to maybe chase the plane, chase the Bronco and see like what kind of different shots we can get by like looking down or looking up. Or, you know, can we fly alongside something and like start low and kind of come up high, get unique perspectives that are really hard to get traditionally with FPV and just kind of get creative with what we could do with the head tracking system. All right, uh, let's see how bad this goes. Oh, analog video. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick of my stomach. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. I'm gonna fly under this tree and look up at it. Hey, I made it. Oh my, like, I legitimately start, am starting to feel queasy. This might not be for me. <laughs> okay, I'm going up over the trees and I'm gonna look down into the tree area as I go over us. And... Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to fly it like this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, there's some potential there. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna kind of look down at this. Uh... I, I I am getting sick to my stomach. Like I'm not gonna throw up, but like I do feel weird. I'm gonna try to look at stuff as I fly over it. Kind of going over top of stuff and looking down at it is really cool. Oh, sh uh, Okay, so here's what I did. I started to fly backwards, and then I gave myself negative tilt, and I started to fly really fast backwards. But everything was still in frame. Altitude management is very hard. Okay, I'm trying to orbit while looking down. That was weird, but hard. I'm flying into the trees. I'm looking down, I'm cruising down through the trees. <gasps> oh, that was cool. Oop, low battery. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in land. You're gonna try it before I break it. Okay. Okay, that was pretty cool. Like, I, I was a little bit skeptical at first because it's like, okay, yeah, kind of a gimmick. Like, you can look up and down with the drone. But when I can, like, look down a gap and fly down through the gap, 
Not because I'm unconfident in my ability to fly, but I can use that as a cool angle to come down through something. And like, you know, so I'll be looking through the gap and as I'm coming down, I look up to what I'm trying to reveal through the camera. So like, I kind of went into a gap over there in the trees and I looked, you know, I came into the gap, looked down and then cruised down the gap and then through. And that gave me like a perspective that I've not seen before in FPV. Uh, I want to play with more with the up tilt too. Like to kind of see like, kind of look up and fly up through something and then down, stuff like that. But like, there's definitely something there that I hadn't thought of before. And I'm really, really excited about what that could be. So Winston, you got to try flying it because it is a head trip. All right, here we go. Oh, geez. Like I want to tilt my head farther forward to move. Cause usually I have in my mind to pitch forward and to pitch forward I look down. <laughs> oh geez. All right, here's what I wanted to try. Oh, this is hard. Oh, and looking up physically. Man, this tests your skills as a pilot. Cause you gotta feel what the drone is doing as you're flying it. Oh, that's cool. And like to hit gaps coming down. Oh, I like this looking down. There's that. You look up. Oh, oh there we go. Hold on, orbit. So I'm just kind of playing around with it, trying to get used to the idea of what the drone's gonna do where it's pointing and just keeping correlation with everything with where I'm looking and remembering. One thing that I had fun with was just kind of orbiting and looking up as you orbit. It was kind of cool. It's one of the things I want to try. I don't know if it's practical, but it was fun. That's really cool. Just the, the slow flight to look down and be able to go real slow and down. Cause that's always one of the hardest things to do, especially with the, the indoor Cinewhoop shots is where you have to go slow and lose altitude you're almost looking straight up at something. So that's that's one thing that would be useful for. I don't know how useful professionally it'd be, but that's, that's really cool though. Cause you definitely get the vertigo moving around to where it's not tied to what you think it should be tied to. And that definitely was throwing me for a loop. To check out Josh Medellin's kit for the head tracker, which includes the servo, the prints, the GoPro mount, uh, a few different frames and a generic version for each of those, as well as the actual head tracker itself, check the link in the description below. Second flight for Winston. He's not gonna crash this time. <laughs> I'm gonna find a nice long stretch of area here that I can try and fly backwards without hitting some stuff. I'm just gonna stop right here at the... Oh wait, oh geez, okay, here we go. Look down and tilt back. Yeah, that thing moves. Being able to adjust the camera angle and not sacrificing the rest of the flight just to fly backwards is kinda nice. All right, let's line this up. Nice and lined up. Keep it off the ground. Being able to just kind of not sacrifice the angle of the camera and the GoPro the rest of the flight and still being able to stop on your subject, look and just slowly come back like that. I wasn't very smooth about the transition, but if you get practice with it, I bet you could probably get some cool shots with that. Especially with like the indoor tours where there's the things where you have to watch someone come up to the door and then back off with them or something along those lines would be a cool, cool use case for something like this. So I've given myself about four or five batteries to really start feeling out how I can be using the head tracking alongside of the actual drone itself, just because it's a kind of weird thing to get used to. Like I didn't feel like my first couple flights really justified like how it could be used. And so I wanted to kind of just practice off camera. So this next flight, what I want to show off is kind of how I'm using the downward angle, especially because I have a little bit more downward tilt in this angle, in this setup than I do upward. I can really only get to like there, um, but I can go a lot further down than I think than up. So it's like 50 degrees and I use that to kind of move slowly down through trees and kind of make reveals so like there's gonna be a shot where I come down and I kind of scoot through all the trees right behind us and let, kind of come level to Winston and then kind of move off in a different direction and using those sorts of movements to kind of create something that you don't normally get with FPV I think is one of the powerful things about this particular idea so I'm excited to see what other things we could keep doing with this but for now I'm excited to see the early beginnings of what this could be. So in conclusion, we don't actually know all of the possibilities of this yet. The ability to fly down through stuff 
was absolutely incredible. Like we can kind of like point the camera all the way down and really slowly make our way down through things. And then as we're coming back up, we kind of reveal the stuff that we're looking at. I thought that was a unique application for this device. Beyond the unique shots that you can get, what's cool about this particular kit is that it can work both with Fat Sharks and with DJI digital FPV system or whatever system you want. You just have to stick it on and control it with the controller. To that end, I'm really excited to hear what you guys think in the comments about the things that we should shoot with it, right? We, we tried a little bit of chasing, a little bit of proximity flying, and a little bit of backwards flying. We wanna know what would you try to shoot if you were playing with this? So jump in the comments and let me know what you think. As always, everything, including this drone, the kit, the batteries, the everything is in the description below. So be sure to go check that out. And if you choose to purchase any of them, you'll be supporting this channel. And if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to do that and stay flying.